You ain't fucking prepared for what's coming next. You ain't fucking prepared for what's coming next. Wait till the real bullets start flying. Trudeau, someone's gonna make you catch a bullet one day. To the rest of this government, someone's gonna fucking do you in. You sons of bitches. The only way that, and I'm gonna say it out loud, the only way that this is gonna be solved is with bullets. The only way that this is gonna be solved is with bullets. And yeah, I said it. That's the only way something's gonna happen. A massive revolution on an, a, a, a huge scale. And I advocate civil war. If people don't want to stand up, we've got guns, we'll stand up and we'll bring them out. Guns, ammo and body armor seized when RCMP arrested 11 people in a pre-dawn Tuesday morning raid. With charges ranging from mischief, weapons offenses and conspiracy to commit murder. Some of us, we are fucking ready to sacrifice our fucking life, you motherfucker. If you're listening to this grateful again that the truckers did this. I, I commend their courage. I see them as soldiers in this war. That's really what started. It's, yeah. it's becoming a war now. Police alleging connection to an organized group said to have a willingness to use force against police if any attempts were made to disrupt the blockade. If Trudeau do this to us, man, it's going to be war, man. Yeah. War. Yeah. And you guys got to stay on the job until it's done. Yeah. I ain't going anywhere. I'm either going out here in a body bag or I'm the last rig off the, off the field. Ottawa is not moving. But we have contingencies in place. So you want to push this away from the borders? The Americans are coming up around the south side. They're going to take the borders. And then we've got 40,000 Atlantic fishermen are about to hit the ports in the east. So just watch what happens. You want to? Be, they poked the wrong group. They poked the wrong group of people, I'm telling you. Counterterrorism expert Mubeen Sheikh says there's been a rise in far-right accelerationists in Canada. Just last October, a former Army reservist from Manitoba, Patrick Matthews, was sentenced to nine years for what the FBI says was his role in trying to trigger a race war with accelerationist group The Base. You're under arrest, sir. For what? Finally. Pat King, a white nationalist and conspiracy theory peddler, revered among supporters on social media. Uh, I'd like to get my lawyer on the phone right away. Uh, Pat King is in the convoy and claims to be an organizer. He is known for his far-right views and using homophobic and racist language in the past. Other convoy leaders are now distancing themselves from King, but King is dismissing their concerns. 100% that it's had to be done due to the PR. It had to be done. It had to. So, it is what it is. Patrick King, he is the Truckers Freedom Convoy co-founder. You will get to the Antrim truck stop, you will pull into the Antrim truck stop and wait on orders. Organizer Pat King well even announced a convoy Bitcoin. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight is the launch of the Freedom Convoy token. But experts say cryptocurrency is even easier for law enforcement to track. They've basically taken over the trucking industry. A lot of them um, take over the construction industry. And when it comes to the trucking industry, we see incident after incident after incident. And this seems to be the ethnicity of choice. Not of choice, but of statistics that are having this. They're taking over housing too. You might want to... Change your uh, your name to Ishmael, or drop a bunch of change down the stairs and call yourself Chong Ching Ching Chang. <laughs> now you want to say, oh, the Indians' culture and everything. The natives' culture is a disgrace. It is one hundred percent. Every person who was born here in Canada, in North America, you are indigenous. <laughs> People don't realize that. <laughs> if you were born of the land, you are indigenous of the land. It's called depopulation of the Caucasian race or the Anglo-Saxon. And that's what the goal is, is to depopulate the Anglo-Saxon race because they are the ones with the strongest bloodlines. They are the ones with the strongest bloodlines. They are the ones with the strongest bloodlines. And we'll leave it at that because then we get into a whole different topic. But, but now this year, this year alone, I think I'm going to have a big gathering at my house just for that. And I'm going to film it. You're right. Cops will get shot.
I want to bring in some of the stuff that they've done. They've brought in their permitted into Canada. They've basically taken over the trucking industry. We have Yagmeet Singh, who's been called by the Indian government a denouncer of terrorism and will not allow him into their country. What's up, Mr. King? We want to do what we had planned all this time. Do you know what the Crown Property Regulations say? So if I go ahead and do this, you're going to arrest me? Yes. You'll arrest me? Yep. Okay. So any structure you're seeing that I put up, I will be arrested. Any structure that you place on Crown Property is what we, should, we gave you in the Crown Property Regs, correct? Right. That says what goes on on the grounds here. Yep. All the rules of the grounds. Yep. If you are in violation of that, you will be dealt with accordingly. Dealt with accordingly, meaning yep. I will be arrested. Be so if a First Nations person puts up a structure, or what you deem as a structure, are you going to arrest them? We'll deal with that situation when it comes to it. Okay. Well, I won't put up no structure, but I know thousands that are going to put up. Because you get everybody else to do your dirty work. Is that what? Work. My yes, dirty work? Your dirty work. Yes, you dirty work. stand behind people and you do it all the time, Pat. I've been here you a long time. I've been here I've a long time here. and I've, I've stood here thousands of times. I see the way you do it. You use people. I use people? You do. I use people. You do. We support him. We are choosing to be here. That's your choice to support him. I yes, it is. Wow. Okay, okay. that's awesome. Okay, Mr. King. So you can do what you, you think you're, you're in your rights to do. We will deal with it accordingly. Okay. All right. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. You think I use people? You do. Yeah, I do. How have you done that? Prove it. I'm here by choice. Give me a, give me proof. I've seen you. I've been here at other rallies where I've seen you do it. Yeah. Yeah. I use people. Yes, you do, sir. Hmm. It's funny because I'm helping you guys too. No, you're not, sir. Yeah, I am. Sir, do what you need to do. We'll deal with it accordingly. Is that a threat? No, we'll deal with it. Or a promise. We'll deal with it with accordingly. Right no, there is no structure so up. Why are you here? We here. We work here. here. We work here, man. For all these people that are going around thinking that I'm controlled opposition or I'm some fucking shill, I'll tell you right now, I got more skin in this fucking game than any fucking buddy out there. I have been at this for a lot longer than you are. You guys just started waking up two years ago when this fucking stuff started happening. I woke up 20 years ago, and I've been at this game for a long fucking time. So anybody out there who wants to fucking say I'm controlled opposition, I'm some fucking shill, you got another thing coming. I lost my voice to this. I've lost best friends to this. I have lost family. I have lost everything to this. And anybody out there who wants to sit there and say that I'm some kind of controlled op, you got another thing coming. I have a record the size of my fucking arm. I am not a nice person. And anytime anybody out there feels that they're tough enough and they want to come and take it, come take it. I would gladly pass this badge on to anybody. Because you know what? Not many people can do what we do. And I know that for a fact. I've teamed up with people in the past. They burnt out. They can't do it. They can't stand. I'm telling each and every one of you out there right now. Until you guys are ready to start fucking swinging. Until you guys are ready to start actually standing up, pushing back. You can count me the fuck out of this. I'm so sick and tired of you fucking little peasants, you little fucking pricks. And I'm, yeah, I called you peasants. I did. Because that's how you're acting. Like a bunch of little fucking whiny little peasants. Little bitches. Grow the fuck up. Put some fucking skin in the game. Let's see what you can do. And let's watch you get called controlled opposition. Grow the fuck up. And anytime you want to take the title, come and get it. Because I'm at just about enough. And I know what's coming. And I know what I'm getting prepared for. And I'll tell you right now, not a single person out there who's fuck going to be able to stand up to what's coming. I guarantee fucking to you. And I guarantee it, each and every one of you are going to run like little bitches. And yeah, I said little bitches. Because I've had just about enough. Look at Australia. They're starting to push back. France, they push back. Quebec, starting to push back. Where the fuck are the rest of you? I'm out. I'm done. Fuck yourselves. I'll handle my court cases. I'll handle my shit. 
I hope everybody else who actually wants help, but to the rest of you little fuckers, go ahead. Here's the fucking keys. Give her. All you little fucking pukes. Give her. I can't wait to watch you cower and fucking run in shame. Run scared. <laughs> I got pepper sprayed. <laughs> I got rubber bullet in. <laughs> you have no idea what's coming. Rubber bullets and pepper spray or fuck all. Wait till the real bullets start flying. And then we'll see where you're at. Rubber bullets and pepper spray or fuck all. Wait till the real bullets start flying. And then we'll see where you're at. Wait till the real bullets start flying. Wait till the real bullets start flying. Wait till the real bullets start flying. Until you guys are ready to start swinging, I'm fucking outie. Because I know what I'm getting prepared for. And I know a lot of you guys out there, you ain't fucking prepared for what's coming next. So keep chirping, little bitches. Fuck you. You ain't fucking prepared for what's coming next. You ain't fucking prepared for what's coming next. Wait till the real bullets start flying. Trudeau, someone's gonna make you catch a bullet one day. To the rest of this government, someone's gonna fucking do you in. You sons of bitches. The only way that, and I'm gonna say it out loud, the only way that this is gonna be solved is with bullets. The only way that this is gonna be solved is with bullets. And yeah, I said it. That's the only way something's gonna happen. A massive revolution on an, a, a, a huge scale.